Hi, I'm Beryl, and the theme for today's video is ice cream toppings. This is a part of my toppings series where we take a base and explore different topping ideas from around the world. These are personal recommendations. They're not meant to be representative of an entire country, but they are here to give you some fun ideas. Let's get going. Hi, my name is Barrett and I'm from Canada. My favorite ice cream topping is sliced bananas caramelized in maple syrup or brown sugar topped with chopped pecans or walnuts, whatever we have around the house. My grandma serves this to us on warm summer evenings over vanilla ice cream and it really is the best. Make sure you use real maple syrup, it makes it 100% better, I promise. Turns out caramelizing bananas is not that difficult. Little butter, little bit of that maple syrup, and then when they cooled down they got crunchy. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of chopped nuts, but I am open to trying anything with ice cream. The texture of the nuts is really good, but these bananas are bananas. Okay. <laughs> I definitely agree, using the maple syrup to caramelize them is game changing. Whoa. This feels fabulous. Also, did you guys like my Canada map in that scene? I saw it and I had to buy it. Wow. Hello, my name is Andrea and I'm from Germany. In Germany, we have a special kind of ice cream called spaghetti ice. The first topping you don't put on top, but at the bottom, it's whipping cream. Then you need vanilla ice cream and press it through a device that make it look like spaghetti. And every good spaghetti needs sauces. Therefore, we use strawberry sauce as tomato sauce. And we also use shredded white chocolate as Parmesan cheese. This is a very German dish and everyone enjoy it. This was the most exciting ice cream dish that I have ever made in my entire life. I'm just gonna roll a bit of the footage with Nat sound so you can see how excited Leia and I were while filming. Oh my. Whoa! unbridled joy. The one issue is that this is already completely melted because the ice cream had to be soft in order to go through the ricer and then it sat for a little bit right while I set up so but <laughs> what a fun presentation. I'm officially obsessed. When I was working at Great Big Story, I actually helped produce a piece about the guy who invented this. So if you want to check that video out, I am linking it in the description. It tastes just like normal ice cream. Like there's nothing about it that tastes different, but man, that was fun to make. 10 out of 10 for fun in making ice cream dish scoring. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Benedek and I'm from Hungary. One of my favorite ways to have ice cream is with baked peaches and the cinnamon oat crumble. This is not especially a Hungarian recipe, I just happened to create it by accident when I was trying to bake oatmeal cookies but messed up. And uh, it just reminds me of a hot summer day. This is spectacular looking and I love that it came from a mistake, a lot of good foods come from mistakes. This is not exactly if I was like, oh, I want a bowl of ice cream, let me quickly bake some peaches and make a crumble, but it, I mean, it looks it looks good. Oh my God. When I tell you that I would pay $12 in a restaurant for this, I'm not even kidding. I would pay for this experience. It's fabulous. I use canned peaches, pop them in the oven, crumble was super easy. I will leave a link in the description to how we made it, but wow. If you wanna have people over and, and serve a dessert that feels like summery, but also like you did a little bit of work, make this. It's so good. Man, that crumble. <laughs> Hi, Beryl. My name is Nujan and I'm from Indonesia. My favorite topping that I put in ice cream is chili sauce and crumble nuts. With vanilla ice cream, you can get sweet, spicy, savory in your ice cream. So I hope you can try it because it's really delicious. <laughs> I mean, I can't say that I'm surprised, but also I'm very surprised. <laughs> Hot sauce with ice cream and peanuts. I feel like this will make sense, but... I don't hate it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. The saltiness of the nuts and then like the creaminess of the ice cream blends really well. This is actually a pretty spicy hot sauce and all I'm getting is like a nice little tingle, which you're not used to getting when you eat ice cream. So it's kind of fun. It's definitely something different and I'm into it. 
Huh. Hi, my name is Bonestan. I'm French, but my mother is Iranian. The ice cream topping I want to share with you is carrot juice. And in Iran, we call it Abhavich Bassani, and you make it with vanilla ice cream. You just have to add some rose water and saffron. You just pour some carrot juice on top of it and add a little bit of pistachios on top if you want to be extra Persian. This seems absolutely up my alley. It's kind of like a carrot milkshake, maybe? Whoa. It is super refreshing. The rose water with the carrot juice is like combining to make this just extravagant flavor that I'm definitely not used to. Come here, spoon. Mm. I feel like here in America, the idea of mixing ice cream with a beverage is pretty typical. We have it with root beer, with Coca-Cola. I never would have thought to put it in fruit or vegetable juice, but I like this way more because first of all, the flavor feels like fresh and, and the added benefit is like, oh, I'm drinking carrot juice. <laughs> this is cool. Recommend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'd like to take a moment and thank the sponsor for today's video, all form. You may remember that I worked with Birch, a mattress company. All form is one of their sister companies and they make modular sofas that are completely customizable. A lot of us are spending more time at home and that means a lot more time on our sofas. All form sofas are scratch and stain resistant and very comfortable. I got the all form sectional sofa for my sister. She went on vacation and I set it up as a surprise for her. So when she came home, but um, a new sofa. <laughs> I got her an L-shaped sectional and the sofa came in a bunch of boxes where I had to assemble it. And I thought for a minute, oh my gosh, this is going to be so complicated, but it was actually quite simple. The instructions were easy to follow. Oftentimes, if you're buying a customized sofa, the wait time is going to be in months, but these ship out within a couple of weeks, which is like really nice, especially right now when we know everything has long delays you do get a 100 day trial. So if you decide that, ugh, I actually don't like the sofa, they'll come and remove it for you. But I'll tell you, honestly, I think that the sofa is very comfortable. It's not too firm, it's not too soft. It's perfect for sitting and relaxing or if you fall asleep on the sofa watching a movie, it's very comfortable for that too. <laughs> On top of sofas, they also have chairs. So if you're looking for new seating, there's a ton of options here. If you're interested in trying them out, you can go to allform.com, use my code barrel, and that will give you 20% off your order. I am also leaving it in the description. Okay, I think it's time to learn about more ice creams. Hi, Beryl. My name is James and my family is Tongan, but I live in Utah in the US. I like ice cream in an ice cream sandwich. Take a piece of bread, spread on some ice cream, then top it with another piece of bread. Although not the most traditional or stereotypical Tongan dish, it is very Tongan in how it reimagines imported ingredients in a new way. I think that this is such a fun idea because one of the things that I hate most about ice cream sandwiches is the cookie side of it. It's too crunchy, it's too sweet. This is cool. And I like the story that this was created using things that were just readily available at the shop because that makes sense. Mm. I like it. Also, this is the only chocolate ice cream that we have in this episode, which is also very surprising. <laughs> huh. I'm curious if this is a thing anywhere else where you live, do you guys combine soft bread with ice cream? It just feels like such a good idea that really isn't here in the US, or at least I'm not aware of it. Hi, I'm Christina from Austria. On a nice afternoon like this, I like to have some heiße Liebe, which means hot love. It is fresh raspberries, hot raspberry sauce, and whipped cream on vanilla ice. Everybody loves it, so let's have some. I love that this is called hot love. Also, raspberry sauce. The hack that I did was I took raspberry jam, put in some hot water, and voila, instant raspberry sauce. Heck yeah. Mmm. I could definitely eat a lot of this. However, my body would revolt against me. This video is not sponsored by Lactaid. <laughs> Hi, Beryl. My name's Kiara and I'm from the United States. My favorite ice cream topping is Magic Shell. It's a typically chocolate or cherry sauce 
that you dip the ice cream cone into and it hardens when it hits the cold ice cream. So I hope you give it a try and I hope you love it as much as my family and I do. Traditionally, this is supposed to be had with soft serve ice cream, but I don't just have a soft serve machine at home. So I kind of just stuck a cone in. Ta -da! <laughs> when I was a kid, magic shell was definitely one of my favorite things with ice cream. Can you see the shell of it? <laughs> you can make magic shell yourself with coconut oil. I'll leave a link in the description to a recipe that I found online. It's very fun. I like the strawberry one a little more. <laughs> Here's a question, sugar cone or wafer cone? Obviously the answer is sugar cone, but I'm just curious. Mm. Hi, I'm Priyanka and I'm from India. A common use for ice cream in India is a drink called faluda. Faluda is typically made with vanilla ice cream, vermicelli noodles, basil seeds, milk, and ruabza, which is a botanical drink. Together, it's very sweet in flavor and perfect for a hot summer day. I just realized that these basil seeds, and I might be calling myself out here, are what those girls drink in the videos where they like eat all this food and drink water out of little glasses that look like peacocks. Do you know what I'm talking about? If not, just please dismiss me because it's a, it's a weird thing to Google. <laughs> Rue Afsa is a very sweet floral drink and I just know that this, like many other Indian desserts, is gonna be sweet. Mmm. Oh my God, the basil seeds are like chewy kind of. And then the rose and botanics from the Rue Afsa mix so well with the ice cream. The vermicelli noodles are not coming up through the straw, but I can see them in here and they look so cool. Wow, this is decadent. My name is Vida and I'm Egyptian. My favorite ice cream toppings are broken up Maria cookies and halawa. Well, my mom prepares the most delicious halawa. And as a kid, I remember discovering that you could scoop more in your mouth if you use a Maria cookie instead of the traditional pita bread. Eventually, this combination ended up on my ice cream. And since then, it's been my favorite topping and it reminds me of her each time I eat it. I think that this might be my first time having halawa. Whoa. It's actually not as sweet as I thought. It has this really strong sesame flavor and it's kind of like crystally and crunchy, but very soft at the same time. With the ice cream, it's very good. My ice cream is so melted. It's so hot. I have to have the air conditioning off when I film. Air conditioning plus ice cream plus overhead lights when I'm filming it. I mean, it's a recipe for toddy. That's what my mom called melted ice cream when I was little. Did you guys have a name for it? Mmm. I feel like you get a lot of really interesting textures with this one. It's fun. Mm. I hope you were inspired by some of these dishes. What toppings video would you like to see next? Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, here's a link to two other toppings episodes if you want more inspiration of what to do with generic foods around the world. I will see you all in my next video. <laughs>